Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build the Mark V uh, Special Operations like Special Ops. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a really small craft. It's supposed to be able to fit onto a Galaxy C5. Uh, whether or not when I get around to doing the C5 it's actually big enough to fit it inside I don't know. Uh, but it's 25 blocks long. Uh, it's uh, 13 high in total and it's also just 7 wide. So it's quite a small one. Um, I've just got this kind of like small tank part. The back part here is supposed to be a canopy, but I just did it all kind of normal just because it looks a bit strange if you do. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is red wool, black wool. Uh, I'm going to use blocks of iron as I usually do, but you can use light grey wool. Uh, you're going to need grey wool, iron bars, stone slab, glass, bo glass block, <laughs> never break fence. And I used light grey wool for the kind of small craft at the end, uh, at the back that gets launched. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you are building this one under the water, what I did is I put my water level, just get rid of this, show you guys where I put the water in this one, it's quite a low one, so I just got it, just on the black layer is where I actually put my water on this one, uh, I just made it a bit kind of easier, I don't know why I used iron bars for that, but yeah, so put it in your black layer, so it's just going to be two underneath the water, so let's get started, so you've got just two, uh, with thickness of one, you go three wide, that's going to be 19 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's going to be three wide, so just fill this one in and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so that's what you should have for layer number one, so I'm just going to do layer number two, which you're now into black wool. So you're going to come forwards by one block here, that's going to be three here, one on this one here, just covers up that, and then this one's going to go all the way back right to the end of this run like this and you're just going to have three across the back and you can do the same again on this side so I might as well do it with you because it's quite easy so you've got three at the front here so this is three blocks here, this is the only bit you might mess up on so that's layer number two, let's go on to the next one okay, so come around the front, you're now onto your either light grey wall or iron blocks so you're going to place a block on the black piece here and then you're going to go forwards by one these three are just going to go on top so are these, these are just going to go all the way on top of the last layer and it's all overhang by one, so it comes in line with that back piece. It's the same on the other side. So it's got three coming across on top of those ones, and this just goes all the way back. And pass by one. Then all you're going to do with your stone slabs, you're going to put a couple on the black piece of wall here, then on the higher one, we go onto this. So all you're doing is creating a ramp for this thing, um, the actual dinghy itself. So let's go on to the next layer. Okay, so then come to the front again, you're going to go place a block on top of this one, then come forwards by one. I'm going to have a three, this time it will overhang by one like this. Do the same on the other side as well. One, two, three. The next layer will overhang by one on this side, and this one will just come back. And it'll be one short of the last layer. So it'll just come to here, like this. Same on the other side, so you've got this one block overhang, just like that. And this one just comes over all the way back, uh, just one short, just like that. And just come into this part here, and you're just going to fill in this. So you've got one, two, three, and then two of these ones are going to be full as well. So that's this, just kind of creates this front part here. Uh, so you can either do this in the solid colour of what I've used, or you can put in if you wanted to uh, the grey wall as decking on it. I just thought it looked a little bit better with clean blocks like that. Then coming on the inside, you're going to count uh, seven into it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And on the eighth block, you're just going to create this kind of doorway here. And then one layer down, you're just going to create a floor for this. This is kind of, um, uh, it's not really a bridge section, but uh, you know, the bridge and the kind of canopy part. And just come in here as well, you can fill in these two if you want. You just put in one extra one here. And then this deck here is raised up by one, so all you're going to do is just come in here, just like this. And then on this layer here, you're going to create more of a ramp, so you've got two more of these, so you've got four sets so of slabs going up in total just to create this ramp that goes into the water and if you do have your water around this layer then it will line up exactly and come around the front with your glass blocks what you're going to do is just on this last one here you're going to go across by three and on the sides by three and then you're going to have a window every other one so you can just put those in and just put in a block of iron on each of these and build up this kind of door part here so you then have that and come around the back part you're just going to put iron bars on these all of these parts here, just like that. Then what I did is on these last bars, I just put in three blocks of uh, light grey wool, um, one on the front, 
This is just building the kind of dinghy raft, so it does overhang a bit. And then for the floor on this dinghy, what I did is I used cobblestone slabs just to change it up from the stone slabs here. And if you come around to these two parts, just put in uh, two cobblestone slabs. If you put one in here, you can't get into the door, so I just put them on the side. So when you do walk through here, it goes in here. Uh, you might as well put in your door as well. Then come around to this back part here and just build this one up to a total of three. So you got one, two, and three. Just add two blocks to this part. With your stone slabs come over the top of these parts. And it's just going to go around with this layer of stone slabs. Just on the outside of the glass. Now what you're going to do is all of this middle section you're going to raise up by one slab. It just creates, uh, just gives it a little bit more height inside. Um, it makes it feel a little bit more spacious even though it's only an extra half block. So let's fill in this roof all the way to the back. Just like that. Okay, on these two parts, just place a slab on top of these. And what you're going to do is you're going to come back and up by one uh, one block. So you've got this and build those up by two. So you've got this, so the slab's kind of, kind of connecting into it a little bit. And then put slabs on top of both of these parts and then do the same. You're just going to come back by one block this time. And then place a uh, cobblestone wall on this one. And then go up by three in total with uh, no brick fence or for two or three it's up to you. I'm going to do two on this one and then go back. So it's just kind of, kind of creating this antenna part. This is going to be a stone slab as well on the upside down part of this part here. You can put one on these two as well uh, but it's up to you guys. And then all you're going to do is just use a couple of stone slabs to go across. So well, you've got this free section, uh, this free gap here. You're just going to come across here. This also helps to join it in. And it's just going to be one here. Just like that, so it kind of creates that that part and makes it a little bit smoother. And then all I did is come around on the side and just went up a couple of blocks on these parts. Um, I think I did it on two different levels on this just to try and make it look a little bit um, more like the actual ship. It's kind of difficult with these parts. And then for the guns, I use fences and fence gates. So when you come onto this part here, uh, we've got the iron bars. Just go kind of back by one block. Put a fence and then I just used a fence gate like this to make the gun. Same on this part here. Just get your fence and then your fence gate. That's exactly the same on the other side as well. Just like this. There and there. And that finishes off the Mark V uh, like special op, spec ops kind of um, small craft that they use. Um, so I'll just show you guys what I've done with the interior. There's not that much room at all and there's no deck below. Um, I guess you could have a small deck in the back here um, if you put like a trapdoor and some things like that. I haven't on mine, I've just got this like, kind of cabin and all I've done is I've had kind of made a bit for actually uh, driving the ship itself. And I've just got a couple more seats here uh, which just line up with the windows themselves. So it's up to you guys what you want to do on the interior on this one, but it's a really, really quick tutorial, quite an easy little one. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.